Oh shit, we don't have a theme song. Oh shit, you're right. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Like, do we get, do we have time to buy something? No, no. We just we just have to riff. We're gonna Go. just riff, riff it. Oh, oh shit, it's the nostalgic front. A podcast from Patrick and Reem. We like movies, TV, and games. Junk food, juice boxes, forgotten things. Oh wow, that was that was adequate. Yeah, that was like pretty good. Yeah, are we just gonna use it for every episode? I think I think we should. I think we have to. Thank you for listening to the Nostalgic Front podcast. I'm Patrick Hasty, and I'm Brandon Ream. How are you doing, Brandon? I'm doing great. What are you What are you been up to? Uh, actually, uh, I beat Star Road again. Oh shit! On Super Mario World. Ah, uh, okay, uh, okay. With uh, my roommate, uh, friend of the show, fan of the fan show, of the show, real in effort. Yeah, Jack Comstock. Jack Comstock. He's been on the show. Yeah, we had a nice evening together and started. Uh, I just got my Super Nintendo fixed, mm-hmm. and uh, then we got our Super Nintendo fix. Yeah. As, uh, we did the whole Star Road in one sitting. Oof. Because we are dorks. Yeah, that's pretty fun. I have not played a Super Nintendo game forever. Oh. Like, I, I haven't played an actual Super Nintendo system in years. You need to get over to my house oh, yeah. early enough before we record podcasts. And just bust and we, into Yeah, it. we can knock some stuff out. I got That'd be really fun. Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. I don't give a fuck Super about Super Mario Kart. I, I'm going to put this on record right now on the show. I don't give a fuck about Donkey Kong. You ever have? None not of the even, games. None not of the even countries, country? None there. of them. Diddy Kong, go fucking go fuck yourself. I don't care. I I like Super Mario games. I think it's weird that they're all called Kongs because they're obviously not related. No. Diddy and Donkey. Diddy and Donkey are two. That's two completely different like geniuses. They're not that smart. No. But they did outsmart that Crocodile King a few times. Oh, see, I don't even get those references because I said fuck those games when I was young. Well, some people out there do. I mean, the graphics were groundbreaking. The graphics were great. Um, I think maybe. And you ride around on animals. I mean, it's one of the top. Selling SNES games. Yeah, but it was time. also a really popular Sega game, and I didn't. It was I never on Sega. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. I you. thought it was on Sega. I thought that's where it came from. No, it came from Rare, which, uh, oddly enough, is a rare thing by Nintendo <laughs> to have one of their land ship properties uh, done by a third party developer. I guess it makes sense because Donkey Kong was all Nintendo. Um, that's cool. Uh, have you been watching any shit? Um,. You know, just some of the standard stuff, but oh, yeah. I, I knocked out some Ninja Turtles Fuck yeah, for Rachel later. Series. Yeah, yeah, but you know, we'll wait to get into that. Oh yeah, we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we sure. got... Um, I'm trying to think of what I've been into lately. I watched a, a movie a couple weeks ago, or a couple nights ago, I guess. Um, uh, Mighty Ducks 2, D2. Oh yeah. Real good. Hold yeah, up, yeah. real fun. Uh, I love the CG uh, graph. a lot of groundbreaking special effects in D2. Really? Yeah, yeah. When the... Like the knuckle puck? That's about it, right? Oh. Like when the camera's on the puck. I thought we were talking Terminator. Oh, no, not T2. You thought I said Mighty Ducks 2, as in the Terminator 2? It, it was a bit. I don't okay. know. Okay, I feel like we, we're really off the rails right now. Yeah, let's hurry up and get a guest. <laughs> no, we still and... got another minute and a half. Oh, we this do? This banter bullshit, yeah. Um, oh. What about, okay, so what you don't really have any thoughts on D2? Mighty Ducks 2? It's good. It's all right. You don't know any of the Ducks movies? I don't know. It was pretty sequely. It, I like the original better. Really? I've only seen the original movie one time. And they started adding in kids. I thought it was kind of weird how these kids, like just like a year ago, weren't good enough to like. Uh, they were pretty crappy pee wee teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also, they had to like enforce tricks. And isn't the flying V offsides? Yeah, it definitely could be. Or and and also there's a lot of icing involved that they don't ever call. But yeah. it still it's fantastic. The first movie I've only seen once. I've seen the second movie probably uh, no shit a hundred times. Uh, I've seen the third movie mm, five or six times. That's when they're in the private school. They're in the private school, Eaton Eaton uh, Academy, uh, go, go Hawks, I believe it was. Uh, and that's the one where Adam Banks becomes he gets on the, like the preppy team because Adam Banks is a cake eater. Yeah, total uh, cake eater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also there's a great thing in the third movie where uh, uh, Charlie goes to like a like a amusement park with a girl that he likes and they get drunk and, then and they he... listen to fucking Pantera and there's a part where he's like he's like what are you listening to and she's like Pantera and he's like I love Pantera and then he joins like, that uh, secret society in college called the Skulls and yep that happens before going to Dawson's Creek before going to Dawson's Creek where he fucks Joey um we never none of us saw that coming well I mean Joey I... was Dawson's girl oh I thought it was weird when Joey dated Rachel oh yeah that was weird too yeah, yeah cause Rachel was Ross's girl yeah. yeah, and everything comes back around on this fucking show. Um, what are you excited about this week? What do you got? Anything, any old shit looking you, you coming up with? You know, watch any, you look excited to watch or listen to any old shit coming up? Uh, you I mean, any I, new videos? I'm more of a stream of uh, con- well, I did just finish a really cool video. Just as in, in the eye beholder, because yeah. this thing comes out anytime. This is an evergreen podcast. 
I mean, it, that might be the most popular video on the internet. But it is right now. It's gone viral. Yeah, the NFers Much are like fucking your nose. crazy. My nose. I am. I'm, I'm sniffling a little. He's bit. a, he's a trooper though. Who are you looking at when you said that? What are you looking at? You looking at the microphone? Yeah, I was, letting, the I was letting people know. Pretty good. Um, all right. Well, I say, uh, you know what else is uh, pretty good? Commercials. And our guest today. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. why don't we take a break? We'll come back and we'll get this fucker going. Got to pay the bills. Got to pay those goddamn bills. Let's see who who's investing in the nostalgic front podcast. Much like Ralph today. Wilson. Much like Ralph Wilson. He's the owner of the Bills. Eat it, Ralph. Oh, yeah. You know that's so much fun, too. Eat it, Ralph. Yeah. Watch out, Mary. First to feed Ralph all their food wins, but be careful. Eat it, Ralph. Oh, yeah. I win. You know that's so much fun, too. Eat it, Ralph. Oh, yeah. And we're back on the Nostalgic Front podcast. What a good commercial. Oh, man, I'm pumped. I'm buying that. Yeah. Also, very good Ralph Wilson line at the, at the end of that first segment. That was pretty good. Um, you, uh, we have a guest today. Well, we do. Yeah, the NFL yeah. I'm Great sure guest. Her. Uh, she's the uh, host of a wonderful show in Brooklyn called Back Fat. Uh, she write, she's written for TV Land. Uh, she uh, is the brainchild behind the madness competitions, one-liner competitions. Would yeah. you do yourself one? Yeah, yeah, one, one of them. One of them. Yeah. Uh, everybody, what a joke. What a joke. Oh, what a oh, joke. Man, the ACLU these, thing. Yeah. All these credits. Yeah, this is one of you our know? big ones. We really should have done this one in the nicer studio, you know what I mean? This is a uh, great studio. <laughs> this uh, one hall of a studio. This is a pretty good studio. Uh, one hall of a, okay, we're in a hallway. Uh, <laughs> everybody go crazy for Emily Winter. Hey. 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 All right. That was nice. Well, how do you, introduction. You feel good? Yeah, that made me feel great. Good. Thank you for doing the show. Brandon Ream won one of our uh, One Liner Madness shows, and you are the, we've done it four times, and you're the only man to have won. Isn't that weird? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I, I'm, I'm honored. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, what's what, what's new? Oh, and remember well, that it doesn't matter, because does. this is going to go out maybe in a thousand years. Oh, boy, great. I can't wait How for another one to record another podcast that never gets put out. <laughs> <laughs> How are you um, feeling? Oh, I'm tired as hell. I yeah. just went and did Women in Comedy Festival in Boston, yeah. which was great, and I think, yeah, it was great. I had so much more fun than Good. I do with boys. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. There's a lot See of boys that? in that festival, though, I saw. There were, uh, there were some, there were some boys. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't let them be in all the pictures. That's and funny. one of them got really butthurt about oh, it. No. Like, he was Ooh. like, this is the worst I've ever been treated in a festival. <laughs> I was like, like, now oh, you know. You mean now the know. women in comedy festival treated right. a man you bad? You don't want, we don't want you in the picture? Yeah, we don't want you in the fucking picture. Jesus, what a dipshit. He was uh, very nice, actually. Okay, so we know where you're at this week. We know what you're, where your mindset's at. Let's say, okay, Emily, you're a little kid, all right? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm assuming probably the 90s, maybe the early 2000s. Uh -huh. What are you the doing? The late 80s. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, okay, you're a little kid. It's Saturday morning. What are you fucking psyched oh, about? Oh, interesting. Yeah. I, that jogs memory. I used Good. to love Saturday morning cartoons, but oh, yeah. I, do, I think I think maybe My Little Pony was on. Okay, okay. But the whole thing was that I remember my mom pulling my pink tights up because she sent me to ballet class sure. and she had like nails and they would always like pinch me Whoa. and so oh, wow. and I was like a really fat little kid and so she would just be like pulling my while I was trying to watch Saturday morning sure. cartoons <laughs> and like putting me in my little leotard that's funny uh, that's, that's easy to picture too is just you being oblivious to her trying to dress you and yeah, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. matters is the cartoons because really I mean come Wait. on when, That's all that matters. Right. When they used to take my shirts off when I was a kid, my, my sister and my mom would do a thing where they would say, put up your hands, and you put up your hands, and then they take your shirt off over your head, and they'd go, skin the rabbit. And that was a thing they always oh, did. That's cute, right? That's and also sadistic. Like, yeah, pretty fucked up, huh? Is that all a farmer right. thing, you think? Probably. Or, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just now thought of it. Now it makes me sad. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my we parents were lawyers. The they weren't farmers. And sure. they, um, my mom had a shirt that said, lawyers eat their young. And they would Whoa. always uh, laugh about it when I was little. And I was like, I don't know what that means. You're like, now I'm like, that's a mean shirt. <laughs> are you guys going to eat me? At yeah. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Okay, so so you, you had to go to dance class. But what you're watching My Little Pony. What if you didn't have a dance class? You didn't have a thing to run off to. What it was my, my Little Pony? What else are you into? What what cartoons um, you love in Saturday morning? What is there a certain movie you want to throw in? Uh, I watched when I was a little kid. I watched 1776 the musical. Sure. One billion times and know all the words to all the songs. That's crazy. Uh, was that just on a VHS tape you had then? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. And then so do, were you into a lot of lawyers in that? Yeah. Too. Maybe that's yeah. It's so weird. I was really like 
like it's I was like five or whatever, but like I want to fuck the shit out of Thomas Jefferson. Oh, like, yeah. I love him. Like, He's I a good looking dude. I heard he got around. It, yeah, but he wouldn't have liked you. He wouldn't have liked you. Because I was five. I was well, also, like Bing Crosby. Yeah. I thought my parents didn't have you the like heart. Bing Crosby? Yeah, my Ooh. parents didn't have the heart to tell me that he was dead, uh, but they did tell me that he beat his wife. Yeah, like, you can find that <laughs> out. All you have to do is Bing it. Parents are fucking weird. This was 1989. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Google, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, back in the Google days. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. So, wait. So, were your parents into musicals? Or were you into musicals? Or were you just into 70s? I was, in, I was like into plays and like stuff when I, and musicals and shit when I was little. And then I, um, I, I had to make a choice when I was sure. like eight years old. I had to pick between musicals and softball. So then I picked softball and that ruled my life, which is not that fun of a nostalgia topic. Well, isn't that but... true? Didn't oh, it's pretty. What, uh, what kind of snacks you go for? At, oh, uh, Gushers. At, Gushers are good. At, at the uh, baseball think, diamond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Wait, yeah. you had Gushers at the baseball diamond? I mean, somebody's softball? parents would bring in, and I would always make my parents bring Gushers. Right? Yeah. yeah, that was one of the best parts oh, about uh, organized yeah. sports was all the sugary snacks yeah. Yeah, that yeah, people yeah. had to bring along. I also like the oranges. I mean, that halftime oranges are good. What? Like an orange? Like a fruit? Yeah, you slice that fucker in half, you put it in your mouth, you act like you're a monkey. I've read Somebody Oh, that's a Godfather, classic bit. We don't all get it. <laughs> I like, uh, I, I didn't know I liked them. But you didn't know you liked no, oranges? No, no, Clementines. Clementines They're like are big. where it's at. They're in a big way nowadays. We were hanging out last night, and I had myself a Clementine last night, and it was good. Oh, man. Uh, I've given up sugar uh, this year, which I'm very upset about, but I've been eating a lot of Clementines and a lot of bananas, and boy, you got to get into those. Uh, Clementines, <laughs> nature's gusher, I'll tell Both you that. Both very appealing fruits. Yeah. You know, and Good when God. I eat them... I'm, I'm I, appealing. 100%. We've made that joke two or three times on this fucking podcast. I know that for a fact. Yeah. What the appealing is your joke. favorite oh, you, Gatorade so, flavor? I feel like that was a little ooh, kid's sports yeah. thing, That's right? That's a good one. Gatorade. That was like a big divider. Uh, I the was, gum. What? There was a gum. Oh, it's Gatorade not that gum? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. amazing. Yeah, it like time. hydrated you as you chewed. Oh, but it wore out spit. real fast. Yeah. I feel like I would always bite my tongue. Oh, like yeah. yeah. I, do, I, I was not a fan of gums that would wear out fast. That's why I was always bubble Yeah, like fruit stripe. Oh, Fruit Stripe was cartoonish. Fruit Stripe was good for like two chomps and then it was gone. <laughs> yeah. I But I liked, I was always into more Bubblicious just because it, I it really, lasted a long time. But Bubblicious, and maybe it's because I have lifelong bad teeth, but uh, Bubblicious, I couldn't eat a whole piece. It was too sugary. So I'd always bite it in half, which made me a good bud because I'd be like, you want a half yeah. chunk of gum? Uh, so I always had it, you know, somebody was always getting those. That's uh, a pasty, good hang. Good hang. <laughs> always has half a piece of gum for me. Uh, <laughs> did he bite it in half? Sure. But, uh, Gatorade, though, I was like the blue. The Arctic, I think it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. I feel things. like that made you a man. Yeah. Grape like, was that good. Separates yeah. The cool Growing up, I was just a basic lemon lime. Yeah, my dad you know? was lemon lime. Especially lemon. with the. Uh... Uh, the glass bottles. Remember yeah. they used to do the oh. Gatorades used to come in the glass bottles. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and early the Gatorade. I was Gatorade. all about where you could get the mix. Ooh. The, like yeah. when you make it yourself. It, it was like yeah, a little yeah. keg of, yeah. of Gatorade powder. Those, like, yeah, they still do. Yeah, we just aged like, out of it. Uh, yeah. When I first moved to New York, I lived with a family. Uh, it was in a uh, this, uh, Dominican family. Didn't speak English very well. And every morning, the lady would give me a cup of uh, juice. Mm-hmm. And she would come to me, and she's like, juice, juice. And I'd be like, okay. And i drink it, and I thought it was orange juice. And I was like, this is great, and I'm healthy, and it's good. And then one day, I went into the kitchen and saw her make it, and it was just tang. You know, like that powdery, yeah. really bad for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was just making mad and then telling me it was juice. And so, like, every morning, I thought I was being healthy, but I was just drinking this, like, fucking sugar. Well, that was me yeah. my <laughs> whole life with Gatorade. Yeah. Up until you were old Wait. enough to, like... Well, you well, find out Gatorade's not good for you? It is, no. though, right? It's good for you because of the electrolytes. I had two bottles of Gatorade today. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but the, the electrolytes. But it's right? not it's sugar, it's sugar, though. It's sugary, though. It's bad. But, like, the electrolytes? But the electrolytes don't... <laughs> uh, yeah, but nobody knows what electrolytes do. You know? Like, they just... They help you sweat, I think, is what it is. And God knows I don't need help in that department. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, okay, so so what was your childhood snack? You drink the Gatorade a lot. Do you ever, is there any things, where were we at when this was happening? Where'd you grow Chicago, up? Chicago, yeah. uh, Chicago actually, the, okay. um, the real place. City girl. Well, well yeah. That's like, a good like, eating like, Running around the Willis Tower and the Sears Tower. What you talking right? about, Same Patrick? Thing, right? The Sears Tower, Reem. Yeah, uh, they cook a lot of steaks there. Uh, you go and you go and run down to the Navy <laughs> Pier, you get yourself a deep dish. Navy Pier, <laughs> that's the job. Air Force, right? Yeah. Uh, so and then so then on Saturday mornings and you're watching your shows and you're drinking your Gatorade. You got a you got a food. You said Gushers. You're yeah. Into, but, what, uh, what kind of food you go to when the parents were working? They, I don't. I don't really. 
Oh, Snickers, Snickers. Ooh, okay. yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to get that. That's crazy. I never was. You're a Midwesterner. You ever? Uh, you guys ever get Snickers salad? What? Ooh, what's that? No, you, you guys we don't know used about. To make uh, like, puppy chow all the time. Oh yeah, I love yeah. puppy chow. Yeah. I made it for Chris, my boyfriend, Ooh. for the first time, and he's like, a, he's from New Jersey, and he yeah. had never had it. He's oh. like, what the fuck? Yeah, right. Like, it's, it's like, like magic. Right. Like, this is okay. This is okay. This what? Don't take that bowl yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Checks max mass produces this stuff. Now you can get a bag of it. It's just called the Muddy Buddies. Really? Checks Muddy Buddies. Oh whoa, I had no yeah, idea. Yeah, it's it's pretty much just puppy uh, chow. I loved I love puppy chow so but, much. No Snickers salad is. Yeah, it's a good potluck dish that I didn't know about, and then oh all God, it's, it's a lot of uh, it's pretty much the main ingredients are sour apples with chopped up Snickers. Oh, I have there. seen that. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know. There's obviously a dressing that pulls it all together. Yeah, like probably not like a marshmallow. Well, it's a secret. You know, a yeah. dressing. Yeah, yeah, but uh, oh, Snicker, Snickers salad. It's uh, you know. I, Midwesterners know how to yeah. like make salad, taco salads. Taco salads, real. Oh. You ever have a Watergate yeah. salad? No. What's it's that? um, it's tapioca pudding and marshmallows, and you put it all in a big thing, and it gave me hives when I was a kid, so I'm not allowed to eat it. But my Why mom it made it all the time. Watergate salad. You know, I don't know. Okay, I Nixon that. maybe had it I, or something. I don't know, but I do know that my mom made it all the time, and I was not allowed to eat it because I got hives once from it. But she still made it all the time, and I'm like, well, maybe. You just know what get it food out of the gave house. me a lot of hives? Honeycombs. Whoa, yeah. those were good. Yeah, it's just yeah. a joke on hives. Oh. Honeycombs. Honeycombs are great yeah. too for advertising because when you're a kid and you get to pick out your cereal. Yeah. Honeycombs had the biggest box. Yeah, they did. So you just, well, Corn Flakes has a big ass box. Yeah, but they're Corn Flakes. Yeah, no yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah, what kind that of? That chicken ain't, sell, ain't selling no fucking cereal. You know what I mean? No, he's not. No. Um, what was your favorite cereal? That's a good one. Get, look at that. You did that pretty natural. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I loved Honeycomb. Really? A lot. And I don't remember other ones. Oh, Golden Grams. Golden Grams are great. They hit. Um, ever, I don't about, really like, I'm not like a cereal. I don't like sweets and I don't like cereal. Well, when you were a kid, you didn't either? I think I like, I liked Snickers and I didn't really want that. Oh, when I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just don't. I never liked Snickers. I just always wanted like fucking like chicken, like chicken. You just and wanted to be the chicken. Like, yeah. I just wanted like a piece of chicken and Snickers. That's funny. It's, like disgusting. You're like a you're like a grown I thought, up. I guess I did like some sweets. People are like, hey Emily, what do you want as a snack when I'm running into the store? And you're like a slice of chicken. Yeah. I mean, like, I want a chicken breast and a Snickers. Were the, were the chicken legs or chicken fingers? Uh, no, neither. Okay, well, I, actually, nuggets were a big hit, but oh yeah. Um. <laughs> But my my parents like both worked full time, so we I just would eat uh, Lean Cuisine like the glazed chicken like yeah. for every single meal like a fucking psychopath. Yeah. Kids Cuisine ever? Nah, dude. Kid Cuisines were a little pricey. I forgot I about those. Yeah. yeah. They had a penguin for a. Yeah. Uh, but the the brown, it was all the brown, like Arctic. The, little brownie the brownie was, was yeah. the brownie in the Kid Cuisine was, was better than the brownie in the banquet. Uh, TV dinner. I ate a lot of TV dinners when I was a kid. Oh That's boy, never I saw loved that. them, man. Me too. But I would make two of them a lot of times because, like, I, I especially I in do. middle school, when I was a fat fuck. I would just make two of those, and then I would have like four pieces of chicken. I'd take the potatoes, put them all together, put the yeah. corn all together, put the brownies on top of each other, and you get like an actual okay little meal. I like the uh, banquet. Uh, or growing up, I was all about the pot pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pot pies are fantastic. You ever have a pot pie? Like a banquet pot pie? You know the band, the brand banquet though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Tuna Helper used to make a pot pie, or they didn't make Ooh, it. My I mom was, did. Uh, the Helpers, I liked Hamburger Helper and Cheeseburger Mac. Hamburger Helper was good, but I I couldn't get into the tuna help because tuna's. I like a tuna sandwich. I'm very weird with my foods. Like I like a tuna. Yeah, we know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I like it. The NFers are fans. Um, the I like a tuna sandwich with just mayo or Miracle Whip is what I choose. I'm a Miracle Whip guy. So you were a hot lunch kid or a cold lunch kid? Yeah, are you packing oh, or are you uh, buying? I was packing. Then in second or third grade, my mom signed me up for hot lunch, and I oh. was too. I was so afraid. So like this was like past the point. Must have been like third grade, like because I stopped doing musicals and then I shut down, yeah. and I was too afraid to ever ask somebody to pass the bowl of anything. Wait, uh-huh. and so Wait. I just didn't eat for a year at school. Yeah, and like when, I had to tell when my parents, did, was like, there a bowl being passed so around? So like our school was like family style, so it'd be like oh, oh like fried oh, chicken and like whatever, like they would put it in bowls Crazy. on the table, and you had an assigned seat, and I was too afraid to ask for anything, so I just never ate. And That's then, like, insanity. They told, they, they told my parents or something. Was this like a like a private school or something? Yes. It oh, was. whoa. Eaton Hall, the Hawks. From <laughs> my next three. 
Uh, that's crazy. I've never thought of that. So did you ever go to a school that didn't have that set up? Or you just get in the line and you have like a tray and you get yeah, the desk out? Okay, cool. Yeah. It'd be weird if you didn't have that experience in your life. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. I, yeah, I was a bringer. Yeah. yeah, I was always a hot Turkey lunch. Sandwich. Yeah, I was always oh, really? a hot lunch yeah. kid too. I had a I had a lunch box in elementary school, but I seldom used it. I a loved, Batman one. However, occasionally I'd be a cold lunch kid. Like if something happened and my mom was running late or something, yeah. so you just stop by the uh, gas station oh, right yeah. down the street and you get like everything, like <laughs> lunchables, yeah. mini muffins, and a Ooh. giant like Coke or something. Here's a fun one. Uh, this is a question for the for all for both of you. Um, I'll answer too. Uh, okay, it's um, it's a uh, uh, field trip. Yeah. What's your lunch? What's the lunch you're taking on the field trip? How is it being packed, and what do you got inside it? Either one of you, whichever you think jumps out at you, or I can answer first if you guys want to think about it. I don't know. All I could think of for a field trip once is I took some leftovers. Like what? I don't know. I I feel like a lot more field trips like lunches were provided. Never on the for ones us. that I would go on. Ever field like trips you'd are go to the zoo, bring... and then everybody would have the exact same. Sandwich. That's crazy. That's not how we were. Was that yeah. how you were? I don't remember. You but remember? I do remember our lunch boxes being huh. a huge deal. It was sure. like such a like status oh, yeah. symbol. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. You, you had to have a cartoon on it, or like you like in our, my school, you had to have turtles or um, uh, transformers or He Man. And I had a Batman one, but I had a Batman. It looked like all the others. It was gliding. I think is the brand yeah. that made them. But I had one that was Batman, and so I got a pass. But it was like, uh, it was like a knockoff. Why do like kids need thermoses though? That they was always weird, in. right? Yeah. It was weird because it would just yeah, be hot juice. Yeah, you get boxes. It would just be hot juice. <laughs> yeah. It would be hot juice. Yeah. What do they think we were putting in there? Coffee. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like for seven years. That's what I was thinking. I love that. A bunch of kids like drinking their. And also, like, did you ever see a kid that would use it for with soup? There was this kid that was in my my first or second grade who would. What was his name? His name was Ben Randolph, and he would have soup. He would pop, take off the top, and then he would pour in the lid, and it would be like fucking oh, vegetable soup. I'm a soup kid. But you would oh, think, yeah. oh, that's terrible, because you would think it's like, ooh, what's he getting ready to pour in there? It's gonna be like a like a, a hot juice, and no, it's like soup, and you're like, oh, my, uh, my of celery. lunchbox was the Dino Riders. Oh wow, that's which, I had never. Seen which a is Dino one of those things. It was one of those really cool things where it's like. I, I'll never get all these toys, but I'm going to get this yeah. one. It was my only Dino Rider thing. And Dino yeah. Riders, if you're not familiar with it, it was uh, a toy line made by Kenner. Kenner. And they, uh, it's pretty much, they made all of the, actually it was Tyco, my bad. Jesus Sorry. Christ. You made me look like an ass. Yeah, I know. You said Kenner like yeah. I do. Uh, anyways, it was uh, these guys weaponized T-Rexes and yeah. Bonasaurus. Yeah, these little fuckers would ride them. Yeah. Uh, this kid, I, I used to get babysat at this house, and this kid had all of them. The kid who lived at the house had them all. Yeah. And then he'd sit them all up on his thing and would never let us play with them. He's Prior to that, asshole. I just thought dino riders were these lists that dinosaurs made for arenas. So they the, pick yeah. uh, <laughs> purple M&Ms and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was your lunchbox? Uh, all the girls had um, Sanrio lunchboxes. Oh, say that again? Sanrio, like Hello Kitty. Oh, okay. And so everyone had a different character, and you could only buy things that were that character. And if oh. you, if you, there were Ooh. like, and there were only so many characters. So if you didn't have one, you like, we were just like, "Fuck you, you're out." What like, if somebody moved in and they were the same character that you had? Then you, like, would you fight? <laughs> but the new, the new person would obviously. Like, wait, have to somebody like come from a different place? Yeah. And go to our school, then yeah. we'd be like, uh, "You here. have to earn a character." Sure, Mine sure. was the frog, Karopi. Karopi. Like, yeah, everything I had was the frog. I want to learn more about these. Things. Yeah, I don't know shit about uh, what's it called. There's uh, Sanrio and like Sanrio. Hello Kitty. Hello, I've never heard Sanrio until you said it. I've heard That's it three times now. That's the company that makes But Kitty. I do know Hell. I've heard of Hello Kitty. Oh, I don't it is. Know about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just know the kitty. Who yeah. had the kitty? Was it, is it the yeah, same group? Kitty. There was one girl that was the kitty. Oh. She was not the most was, popular girl. Oh, no? Oh, yeah. How did she that? get that? Um, Big it, tits? Nope. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at those. Um, You're the kitty. Um, no, we picked them. And, like, oh. Hello Kitty was not the most popular. We would do that. Was a similar thing like that with Mortal Kombat. And, like, uh, I don't know when, but... Oh, well, at least the Frank uh, we did that with. We could only have one animal. Yeah. Well, I was. We did that with Mortal Kombat, and I was, I was Liu Kang... And my friends were, uh, like, you know, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, yeah. and stuff like that. And one of my friends picked Kano, and then the movie came out, and Kano was such a bad guy, and Luke Kang was, like, the star of the movie, so immediately, like, I kind of became, like, the leader oh, of the pack, shit. and it was fucking cool. Well, he, he was already, <laughs> he was yeah. already, that, those roles were already established with But we didn't know the story of the game. Well, you just you know it was like a fighting it. game. All you had to do was beat it and tell you the Well, yeah, but we weren't reading the fuck, we were fucking cool, you know? We were just... No, cool is beating the game. And then no, cool is Sub Zero. He'd freeze your ass real quick, you know. 
Um, all right. Well, uh, what about okay? So video games. Yeah, y'all got. Oh wait, hold on. I want to go back to 1776 a little bit. So. Well, it's uh, gonna take a while. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, you got me good, right? In the, in the way right back. Good, machine. pretty good. Uh, okay, so. Um, did, so were there, were there other musicals you were really into that you'd watch on VHS? Like, did you watch, like, the other movie musicals? And 1776 just rose to the top? Yeah, what was your musical wheelhouse? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think now. I mean, I loved Wizard of Oz sure. a lot. Um, scared the fuck out of me. The scared the scared fuck out of a lot of kids. Yeah. I think those, and then, like, Disney movies. Okay. Were like, oh, yeah. See, do you consider, uh, like, Aladdin a musical? Because it, it, it kind of was. I never thought but, about it as yeah. like a cartoon. But like by that point, like Aladdin was the last one that I was into. Like, yeah, me too. Old, oh, no, you know? Lion yeah. King, huh? I, Fuck Lion King. Ooh. That was like a big Whoa, cool, that's a We've talked about this on this show a lot. We've talked about this stuff about how, when do you get out? Because right. I kind of was into Lion King, but not really. There not was a enough. girl in my class, Dina, and she was like really into Lion King. And I was like, I have moved on and I was like writing her off in my head. That's exactly I, how wow. I was with Power Rangers. When yeah, I my, yeah. when my friends that were in my grade were still in Power Rangers I was like, grow the fuck up. We are fingering now. We are done. <laughs> we have Megazord, get out of here. Um, but I totally get that. But I kind of, I don't know why, but somehow I kind of liked Lion King and I kind of got into it. But I never paid attention to the sequels of Lion King. Whereas, like, when Aladdin would have a sequel, since it was still tied to the thing I liked when I was a kid, I could go watch, like, Prince of Thieves and All stuff. All right, so pre-Lion King Disney Renaissance films, which which is your go-to um, of those? I mean, it was pretty much... Mermaid. Uh, Mermaid. Well, Mermaid versus Beauty and the Beast. And yeah. Aladdin. Do you connect to Birdie and Beauty and the Beast a lot? No. Because it seems very... I think it's very weird that a lot of, like, uh, like women of our... Like, uh, in our age group kind of connect to one of those. They connect to... Uh, Mermaid or Beauty and the Beast, yeah. but not both. It's, it's funny you know I mean? too because it's yeah. like it's very weird. It, it's the forerunner of like uh, those were the first part of Disney princesses starting yeah. to break out of like the classic like princess mold. Yeah, the Cinderella. Where, like, they were both way. like really like uh, uh, had shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Belle was one. They had depth instead yeah. of just being like the princesses, where it's like you know Ariel. Is going against her father's wishes and yeah. like wants to be her own person, and then Belle is like the complete opposite of like so many Disney princesses mm-hmm. prior to her, where it's like she's more into like uh, real things like books and boring. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and everybody's like, oh, she's so boring and stuff. I think if you have like a, I have a sister, so if you have a sibling, sure. then you sort of have to pick your thing. Is your sister older? Oh or yeah, she's younger, and I sort of felt like I was Ariel, and then like. That came out, and I was like, "Oh, that's that boring little bitch with her books." And then yeah. my sister liked it, and I was like, "That's fine. Yeah. That's yours." I loved. I was Aladdin. Was all. I was all about Aladdin. What about you? Um, uh, I really uh, of those. It's I, I consider it Disney Renaissance, but I freaking loved Rescuers Down Under. Rescuers Down Under is great, but it, that's a whole different thing, though. That I I, I don't know. It's, Wait, like Rescue Rangers? No, the no, Rescuers. No, Rescuers We've Down had, Under. Yeah, it, it's great. It's um. If I have to, Bob Newhart was yeah. the voice. Uh, there's rescuers. There's kind of like the underserved under. gem of the Disney Renaissance. Did not know about it. Yeah, at yeah, all. it's really. It wasn't good. one of the I big ones. Watching it. Because there was that heyday of like, yeah. when was it? Like, um, well, they didn't put enough music. What started it? it was Little Mermaid, the, the Little first Mermaid. big ass yeah. one. Um, and they would do every year or two. They would do a big one. But yeah. Rescuers was more '80s ish. No, um, Rescuers was '92. Was it? Yeah. Fuck, man. It doesn't seem like it. It's not the same. Yeah, because it, it, it didn't kill. Others. It didn't kill in the. Uh, but it has like CG special effects in there. Yeah, I And guess. they have them all mixed together. And it's. Yeah, uh, it's kind of kind of got served like Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Sure. Where it's fantastic and it didn't make enough money. So, so it, it got a little bit there. Yeah. And Disney would do that with all their stuff. If yeah. it didn't make enough money, they just kind of pushed it to the side. Yeah. Maybe it was because you were in a, a bigger city, or you, maybe you're, because your parents were lawyers or something, and not like on the farm. But I, uh, the idea of musicals never, I never knew what musicals were. I never heard of them. There were punchlines on TV shows sometimes. Oh, but they're, they're I, just yeah. what my sister watched. Was well, nobody I knew. I didn't know anyone. Oklahoma, that was any musical. Greece, Greece. We watched because it was a movie. Greece. But like, if I was a kid, you'd be like. If somebody was like, hey, what's Grease? I'd say, oh, it's a movie. I would never put together that it was a musical. I didn't know musicals were a real thing. A genre, yeah. Um, but so now in the last like year, year and a half, I've gotten real into musicals as a grown-up. And once I got really into them, I started realizing that, like, well, Aladdin has all these songs that I loved as a kid. And we would always sing and stuff like that. And, like, uh, uh, Lion King had all these great songs. Uh, and what's the other? I'm missing one. Oh, Pocahontas, which Pocahontas was way later. But I did like the songs from Pocahontas. And so I see well, it now. Way. 
Pop World Love is later. I was already like in right. middle school yeah, getting yeah. there. Um, Good songs in Hercules too. They uh, I never saw Hercules too. Oh, only one. Oh well, two. They uh, straight. I feel like one of you guys doing yeah. that kind of shit around yeah. here. Well, sometimes we're really on. Uh, maybe right now. <laughs> uh, I consider myself on right now. I'm uh, it. Well, we're definitely on the air on the net, on the yeah, yeah. from podcast. If you're just joining in, uh, you think anybody's skipping ahead to right then? Yeah, they did. Some people, Some people do. Uh, so 1776, you're watching that. You're into it. You're fucking. You want to fuck Thomas Jefferson, but oh, yeah. everyone's why you see John Adams, and then all of a sudden, Boy Meets World starts. Does that blow your oh, mind? Oh yeah, and it was crazy. Fun. <laughs> and it was John Adams high. Yeah, and, and then, it was like a well, fun it was joke jo- for just yeah. us. You it know? A, it was, oh. That's the it's, school that they go to. Yeah, it was John, Adams, it was John Adams, Adams. It was John Adams Junior High. Then it was John Adams High School. So just <laughs> picture a town that had both. That's great. Philadelphia, I guess. But oh, they're that in Philadelphia too, huh? That would blow my mind because uh, I didn't see 1776 till way later. But when I did, that's my first thing. I was like, oh like, fuck, John it's Mr. Adams Fiend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see it till way later either. I saw yeah. 1776 in like the 80s. Yeah, it's like okay. 200 and years. And in 1776, he signs the Declaration of Independence with Mr. Feeney. Did you know that? <laughs> oh my god, that would blow my mind. Did you watch Boy Meets World? Yes, I did. Oh, I was obsessed with it. I loved it. This is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Uh, it holds up, I think, if you go watch some of it. Um, but uh, and then, okay, am I wrong? But is uh, did you watch Magnum PI? No. I think Higgins might have been in 1776 also, but I might be wrong because he just looks a little bit like Mr. Feeney. So maybe that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Thomas don't know. Jefferson was on Thirty Rock. Who was he? He was like, remember when that like big oh, okay. corporation? He's like this fat old man. Oh, funny. Like, comes in and like takes over, and they're like the actor who portrayed Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, yeah not yeah. not the, the actual yeah. president. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. I I I think I would like it because in the last you uh, ever watched it? I saw the movie once, but I don't remember it. I just knew I really enjoyed it. Uh, there was like a weird time where I don't know. It was like two thousand nine, maybe. I was, I was living in my parents' house for a minute, and I don't know what my life was like. I don't know what was happening. But I watched, like, three musicals in one night, and I watched that one. I watched the one about um, the guy who wrote Yankee Doodle Dandy. Oh, I loved that, that. that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, loved yeah. those, too. And then I watched that one. But I think it's called Yankee Doodle Dandy. Maybe it is, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, but I stayed up all night watching these, and 1776 was the last one. And so I enjoyed it. But I like was it so loopy by the time I finished yeah. it. My mom would force us to watch the Roger and Hammerstein uh, Disney Cinderella. I've seen that one, yeah. Oh, we watched that one when I was a kid a lot, I guess. Yeah. But but I was still never pieced together. Those are. But ha- have you seen or listened to Hamilton now that you're? Because it's you know no, same I'm... area and stuff like that. No, I, I like it a lot, I but I don't know shit. So <laughs> no, I know. That... Oh, Hamilton might be bad. <laughs> I don't know. Not, I don't know nothing. Everyone loves Hamilton. I just. Uh, I don't know. I enjoyed it, uh, and I and I I like it because I studied history. So that's the thing. And I've listened to 1776 as a grown up. The well, soundtrack is a history podcast. Too. This is a history. <laughs> it's a nostalgic history podcast. It's yeah, very yeah. specific. Uh, um, what about Moana? You guys seen that? Yeah, it's so good. So good. I love. Yeah, great tunes. Really great character. Yeah. Fan, yeah. Okay, I got to give it another shot. I, I watched it on a plane in the middle of the night, and I turned it off twenty minutes in. I just couldn't get into it. Oh, I love the songs. Right? I, fu- I love the soundtrack, but I could not. Twenty minutes in, I was just like, uh, uh-uh. uh. I was like, I, I need something else. Oh, but I'll rewatch you're it. You're feeling a little bit meh, Anna. Yeah, know. that's pretty good. <laughs> um, I would, I, you know, what I want to watch uh, Larry or Curly. <laughs> okay, Moan, Larry Curly Mo. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Right. You know, yeah. Sometimes you throw them up and you know, softball. Uh, <laughs> you don't always hit them. So you played uh, a lot of video games uh, growing I played, up. I was so when I was a kid, I couldn't stop sucking my thumb, and um, weird. My dentist, my mom was freaking out to my dentist, and he said, like, he was like, "Well, we can do this thing. We could like put this thing on our thumb." The, the, and, yeah. the vanilla stuff. I don't know. Oh. I don't remember because he this was like, he was like, alternatively, you could just bribe her. I think oh. that. So then my mom took me to Toys R Us and was like, "You can pick oh. out one thing." Whoa, yeah. yeah. And I just went around asking the prices of everything. <laughs> 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 That's, that's the way to do it as a kid, NES, too. Yeah. And I still have it. Um, that's it's funny. It's only sort of work. But we just got the new, the new old NES. Yeah, yeah. The um, classic. They're doing a Super Nintendo one of those now, too. Cool. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They just announced. I had that in Sega. That was it. Sure. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I played a lot Did of that. Did that get you out of the... I never, sucked, I never sucked again. My cousin... Gotta keep those thumbs busy and yeah. dry. <laughs> My cousin sucked her thumb, and they did this thing where they put like a it was like a, a, a vanilla extracty stuff on it, so that if she went to put it in her mouth, it would taste bad. Vanilla extract so sounds weird. great. Maybe yeah. it wasn't vanilla. I, vanilla I like extract. A, maybe it was vinegar. 
vinegar, vinegar maybe. Vinegar makes more sense. But it was something that when she would suck on it, and you would see her every once in a while, like we, because we would be a babysat together, and she'd just be like, Ugh. vanilla <laughs> extract is really weird because it smells great and tastes horrible. Oh, oh then maybe so it wasn't. I tricked myself into drinking it once. Sure. Yeah. Twice. Wait, yeah. same once. Yeah. Same one. You- Taking a drink, trying yeah. it out because it sip. smells like great. Like a swig. Yeah. Like a... Pour it in a glass. Well, if you're an unaccompanied child long enough, you're oh, gonna you're drink t- plenty of okay. did, uh, weird stuff. Did child not a. Now, I, well, hold on, Reem, did you ever, did your parents ever bribe you for any shit like that? Like the way she uh, was talking about? Uh, actually, it was at a Toys R Us as well. Uh, I think I got a booster shot. Oh, yeah. Once, and uh, I milked it for a while, like that my leg wouldn't work. So, <laughs> You're just dead legging it around yeah, the mall. Yeah, so I was just dead legging it dead all around. around. Hay or and then, we uh, so my mom, to cure me of dead leg, uh, <laughs> went to Toys R Us. That's fun. And, and, left, and left me in the car. Oh, whoa. So you didn't get to pick out your... Oh, whoa, that's, oh no. <laughs> that's like child abuse. I, I, uh, that's not my leg <laughs> miraculously killed Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I got uh, one of those scary reacting Ghostbuster oh, toys yeah. oh, where you squeeze their and legs their, and then their they're like... Their head pops out. Ear, yeah. Eyeballs and yeah, ears like jump out. Beetlejuice had a bunch of those toys too. Yeah. Uh, okay, All by so Kenner. Something on both of those. Uh, the thing, Okay, so when I was a kid, I was very underweight when I was like uh, five or six years old. Uh, like I, I weighed really a lot and the doctors were like, he, he needs to eat more. But the thing was, I didn't like vegetables, so I wouldn't eat all the time. And so what my parents did was they would buy me, they'd take me to the store and we weren't going to Toys R Us because our hometown didn't have one. We had a store called Places. <laughs> um, that was the name of it was Places. And we'd go in there later. They changed it to Pomida. Do you know Pomida's? It was named after yeah, this family. I, I Pomida remember. There's a, it's this family in the, that was named after the three kids of the family, which were Pam, Ida and Dave, I think, huh. but it was or something like that. It was I've heard of that Ugh, before. That was fun. That's awesome. But I, <clears throat> at this time, I was still places. And what my mom would do is she'd go and let me pick out whatever turtle toy I wanted, and then she would put it up on top of the fridge and put like a note on it that was like, "When you oh. get to ninety-five pounds, oh, you can have shit. this one." That's well, so smart. Well, yeah, but also it made it so like I was like, "Oh yeah," so then I just eat my ass off, get to that <laughs> weight, and get the toy. And they kept doing that till I got to like whatever like a healthy weight was. But then I just also just kept eating for my whole fucking life. And now I'm a big fat goddamn guy, you know? Uh, my, my mom. But I got all the turtle toys. My mom said she'd buy us a new Nintendo game if we beat the old one. Oh, yeah. So we started beating games pretty quickly. Wait, that's and like she, the like, opposite rescinded. of. Yeah. Right? Like, aren't you? Yeah, I don't to, like, remember. Where it came from. Yeah. Games, kids. Yeah. Uh, I the other thing was, is the thing about. I, my, I used to pop my arm out of socket, you know? And, like, it wasn't popped out of socket. It was almost like it was, like, if it fell asleep or something. But it was, like, you know, everyone's, like, sometimes your finger pops weird and you gotta, like, pop it back, but it's not a big deal. That doesn't happen to Brandon and I, but we know what you're well, talking okay. about. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, one day, when I was a kid, my arm would, like, pop. And it wasn't a big deal at all, but I would think it was broken. I was like, my arm's broken. Gotta have my pops. And I wouldn't, my mom, my mom would not let me do anything until I'd go to the doctor. And they'd go, take me to the doctor and they'd put it under the light in the room and they'd turn on the big light. And then my arm would work. But it was all in my own head, but my mom was like, this is easier than yelling at him and telling him. So she'd drive me the 10 minutes to town to... I forgot that I had a thing like that. My mom took me to the doctor all the way downtown uh, because I thought that I had bubbles on my head. Whoa. (laughs) What does that mean? Um, It makes me want to roll on the wall here. Uh, like I would roll my head on the wall and like just like the way your hair crackles oh, like yeah. under oh, like yeah. against the wall I thought that I was popping bubbles in my head <laughs> and then I would go in the bath That's funny. and I would like lay down and then you like massage your hair and all the like the air bubbles yeah. come up and I was like there they are they're coming and then oh. I was like obsessed with the bubbles in my head it's funny that Speaking I love the idea of you going back now and you, you go to see that doctor's office you went to and it was a psychiatrist and she thought you were crazy <laughs> speaking of uh, bubbles and Nintendo uh oh uh, segue in yeah. right there. Yeah, like I did that, you said, uh, we're crushing it. Message er- when we were talking earlier before the show, you said, uh, played a lot of Bubble Bobble, yeah, I do. so much so that you kept a diary, yeah. I had and this a is Bubble Bobble book, and yes. um, I, I hope that it's somewhere at my parents' house, that's great. Um, but I would, I was like too young to write, but oh, I don't, do you guys play Bubble Bobble? Yeah, I have it upstairs on Nintendo, oh, good. yeah, I've never played yeah. it, but I'm familiar with video it's games, gr- it's and one of journaling. I'd put it in the top five uh, best two-player games on the Nintendo. Sure. So Easily. I thought that, like, my like I had, like, I've taken my boyfriend back to the Midwest. I've shown mm-hmm. him my college town. I've done all these things with him. But um, 
when we got our Nintendo the other day, I was like, hey, let's play Bubble Bobble. And then we were playing, and like I was like, no, go here. Go get the heart. Get the yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I guess I haven't shown him my whole self yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> we just beat it like, last week. That's great. Yeah, it's one of those great games that uh, you can pick up with somebody that's never played before. Yeah. And, and yell like, at them. And yeah. Then, yeah, and then like, Be mean once them. you pass like, the 10th level, they're into it too. Be and you're like, See, it's not a dumb game. Yeah. Uh, because now, quick initially, try. just We're looking at it, it looks pretty silly, then we'll... especially going back to play it as adults. But it's these these two dragons that have to go dinosaurs. That, I'm, uh, I'm sure I played it, but it doesn't come to mind like. Right off the top it's of one of those you know? great games too because I love the theme to it. The music. I'm yeah. playing it in my head. Yeah, right me now. too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it like just it. it's just like <laughs> a 15 minute chip tune oh, that yeah. repeats over and over. And this game has 99 levels in it. And a problem. And, oh, wait, no, yeah. the one. So it's just the whole time just... I'm back. do 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 And then it's just that over. That's crazy. And then it goes... Yeah, yeah, and that's when you're running out of time. and they send Yeah, they send in like... That's like when Mario would speed up. Yeah, you only had nine except when they unleash these like unstoppable like demon oh, things, kind of like the thing from Harry Potter that I don't know what they're the called. Dementor. Yeah, they're a lot like the Dementor is a bubble Can't bubble, and they just yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm that's, yeah, that's my a, nose bleeding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, uh, we're too old for yeah. Harry Potter references. Oh boy, I. Uh, when, okay, so you had this, you girdled it or whatever, you kept a book. Well, yeah. I would have my of. parents and my babysitters. Um, so, okay, so in the game, and you'll know this, there's like, you can get some really cool, like, it's it's inconsistent. It's not mm. like Mario, where it's like, oh, in this block, there's a, you know, like, it's always the same. Yeah. yeah. Um, or as I, like, apparently it's called Flower Power, but flower I call power, it yeah, Plucking Power. Do you call it Plucking yeah. Power? Plucking that, Power. Yeah, that's what's right? great. Is, Did uh, you call it Plucking Power? No, I. I, but I'm just saying it's great where kids just like come, come up with their you, own thing. Quick question: What did you call the thing that you used? Did all that? What did you call it? Um, the thing that plugged into the system and you do this. I with probably it? called it a paddle. Controller. Okay. Paddle. Paddle. That's what I called it. Was a paddle, That's and other like people call it a controller. What you're supposed to beat your children with. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Well, you know, I did take a <laughs> couple a Nintendo movie. paddles across the yeah, old eyes. That's what we call them. Was a paddle, and yeah, isn't that nuts? That's and so some funny. some people call them remotes. My buddy Nick Lineman called them what? remotes. What? Okay. Yeah. Well, they, they are remotes. Nice one, is it like in this case, I am right and Nick is wrong. You guys are wrong. <laughs> They're not paddles. Controller. We would call them controllers. I think once, uh, like Nintendo sixty four came out, it was a controller. But, like, we always called the flat ones paddles, and the Super Nintendo was a paddle. Hit yeah. the paddle. Oh, we got a broken paddle. paddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sorry, I got the broken I, paddle. I threw it at the TV, and now the side, you have to hold the side together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This paddle um, has a turbo button. Well, I, I played a game called on Super Nintendo called Super Play Action Football, and uh, it would, um, at the end of each, uh, you, you could do, like, leagues, and you could create your own players and stuff, or create your own teams. And I would always create the Texas Rangers, who are a baseball team, but I had them as a football team. And uh, I would, at the end of each game, I would record all the stats of how the team, like, how the game went. Yeah. And I would just, I had, like, a binder just full of all this stuff. But there's no reason for it. There's never... Yeah. See, I did the same thing, but with uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. Yeah. And that game keeps track of stats over an entire season. So at the end of the season, you, I would go through and update the records. So, like, most touchdowns ever. Oh, looks like... Joe Montana threw 56. That's a new record. Yeah, yeah. And you get out the eraser. And it's you... so weird because, like, what did we think? Like, that somebody yeah. was going to at some point come well, to us and be like, hey, can I even keep it <laughs> yeah, records? Why are you, you know? Yeah. Like, right. Well, for me, I, especially at that age, I loved sports almanacs mm -hmm. and sports cards and stats. Sure, yeah. And stuff. So I just nerded out on that stuff. I, I mean, I think I didn't love that stuff, but I knew that all my sports fans' friends did. Yeah. And so I was doing it because I thought that would be, like, what I should be doing. Because, like, I had so many, like, weird sports, like, um, because I liked sports, and I still love sports, but, like, I had so many, I was in so many programs that were called, like, sports pages, and they would mail you shit every month, you know what I'm talking about at yeah. all? Yeah, like, yeah, Like, they would mail you, like, booklets you'd put in binders. Oh. Binders were a huge part of my childhood. You'd keep <laughs> your baseball cards in them, you'd keep Yo, your yeah. stats in them, and then there was this thing that was called sports pages, and they would send you things, and then, um, every month you'd get one, and it'd be, like, a new card, and it was, like... Frank Thomas, and it would be like all about Frank Thomas on this one. You'd put it in your book, and the next month you'd get Mark Messier, and it would tell you all about him. So did you and, play know, softball all the way through school? Yeah, uh, my first love was a Kirby Puckett love. Kirby. Oh, can I say one I more thing? I thought you said your first love was Kirby Puckett, and I was like, that's uh, crazy. No, it was Thomas Jefferson, or surprisingly. <laughs> um, uh, wait, there is one other thing that I just realized, because I just replayed Mario 3, 
And in my Bring head, in. I like thing where you have you call something something. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I definitely thought, even though I didn't have a full concept of what this was, that mushroom was a lesbian. Whoa! Wait, say that all again. Mushroom isn't that like the so like oh toad? Mario, toad 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah the thing with the mushroom head. You thought that yeah. was a lesbian woman? Yes. Oh, that's funny. Because I was like, she looks like my gym coach. Especially, oh. <laughs> how, she, especially how she wears a uh, vest. Yeah. Yeah. With nothing underneath it. You that's probably so you must not have ever seen like the cartoons then or anything. Yeah. Because then you would have known. That's why I like Toad. Too. He had like a raspy voice. No. Wait a minute. Aren't we talking about Toad from the cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. That's who and she's I guess about. I always called her mushroom. Yeah, that's and funny. Thought she was a lesbian. <laughs> uh, awesome. I, yeah, yeah. I always my thought... mom used to annoy me because she would call the Koopas ducks. <laughs> this is a it's like a. It is clearly a turtle. Yeah. If it wasn't a Koopa, right, but it's right, a Koopa, right. so it's not a duck, mom. I I didn't like it when the people would confuse the whole the King Koopa and Bowser situation. And war? No, when they would just call Bowser King Koopa and King yeah. Koopa Bowser, and it's like. Pick one. Go one route. Be that guy. You know, don't say both. I don't know. Don't yeah. I liked him better when uh, before he was taken over the Mushroom Kingdom when Bowser was in Shanana. <laughs> You're right. Shanana. That's why. It's a it's it's a, yeah. theme song. It's a different thing, but. What was that? What? Never mind. We just had it. <laughs> it, was, it was a deep reference. For and then five I brought in people. Family Ties in the middle of it. Oh. So. Uh, Good one. Did you have any. Okay, so was there any uh, sitcoms that you were really into and shit like that? Yeah, I you, I, mean, I, had a, I I just remember this because I I was writing at TV Land until mm-hmm. very recently, and I had to write some commercials Ooh, for yeah. Roseanne. Oh, and oh yeah, nice. I Show. forgot that it really made me feel uncomfortable because I was like in my cubicle as a grown up typing with my grown up fingers, and I remembered that I had a Roseanne dance. Um, and it was just like, what does that mean? It was a, you know how it's like a saxophone in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I can't remember. Well, the one, the one, 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 one. And, um, and I was like, yes, yes. It was like a six, a fat, fat six year old doing like a strip tease. Oh, Jesus. That's hilarious. And I like was like watching it, like pick, trying to pick out jokes for the commercial. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got really embarrassed at work. Oh, know? yeah. There's, uh, I was watching Full House, and there's an episode of Full House. It was like on TV like recently, and there's an episode where um, Joey... Remember when uh, Joey and Jesse were jingle writers? Yes. Do you remember that? And there's one where they had to write one for this beach butter, and they're trying to write this thing, and there's beach this whole... Butter, but- beach butter, then the sand. No, it's like beach butter, oh. butter your buns. That's they should have the- just ripped off but beach baby. They could have. But, beach uh, baby, beach but baby. But in, the, in the office, when they go to pitch it, they have this like really hot like big titty girl, and she's in like a bikini. Whoa. And when she walked, as soon as I saw that, I was like, mm, I had a real hard boner this when I was a little baby boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was like, I'm like watching it as a grown up, just being like, oh, what is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so yeah. weird when you connect with something like that from all those years ago, and your yeah. brain is just like, we're the same brain. Here we are. Yeah. That's why I liked Rose or uh, Blanche from uh, Golden Girls because Girl she was horny, was and we were all horny, and that's all I wanted to do was find a horny person. <laughs> <laughs> didn't suck that she was an old lady, but yeah, I get that. I mean, I thought Gadget Hacking Ranch was Gadget's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gadget from uh, um, Ty- uh, not... Rescue Rangers. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's Chip the girl. Rangers. Yeah, a lot of people probably thought she was a lesbian too. A lot of lesbians liked her. That was like their like in. Is she I can see that. She's a ra- a mouse. Yeah, she's right. a mouse. And uh, she wears cute. coveralls, and she's oh, kind of the inventor. Yeah, she's like, a, she's a, like a really cute tom- oh. tomboy. She's really mouse. in control. Flies the plane and shit like that. Yep. Um, it was real good. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of other cartoons that like. Rosie did you watch much uh, Toon Disney? All of those like I was just uh, about Rescue Rangers? Because after school is where they had like Rescue Rangers and DuckTales. Uh, DuckTales, as we say, and the Sega game. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. very hard. The, right? the, I have it on uh, Xbox One now. They re- they've re skinned it and it's great. Yeah, it's for fun. Nintendo, I have it upstairs it's as well. Oh, super it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. super fun though, makes, yeah. um, and it's hard as fuck. Yeah, it's, I, it's the same game. It's just you it's know a cool it looks mechanic nicer. though. But it, yeah, it's so goddamn hard. It's bouncing around on Scrooge's on a, cane. On a, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's all like a pogo stick. It's around. really hard. It's super fucking hard. And there's a there's I I'm stuck on a level that I since I got the Xbox in December I've been stuck on the same level. And so. yeah, they're reproducing <laughs> all of those Disney afternoon Capcom <laughs> games in the one cartridge. That's great. Did you have an actual pogo stick? Because I feel like mm, that was a trendy thing. Nah, I no, never they're got really it. trendy. The pogo oh, ball. Pogo ball. I what the fuck? Ball. Pokeball. It looked like picture oh, Saturn. Yeah. But then the rings were a thing that you stood on, and it was like a, a thing, and you would put, bounce up and down. And, and it looked amazing in the commercial. It was and really hard to do. And then the first time you ever try it, it's like I get no lift, yeah. 
and half of them were flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just one of those toys that the marketing was just right to be like, what about I need this. What about a skip, skip it? Uh, skip it, yeah. That's I love it. skip it. Yeah, and it had its own built in counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip it. My sister had to Wait. skip it. And we <laughs> that was, I really like you right. bop it. Yeah. That's a good. Do you know ah, Sherman was just wa- joke about bop it? Uh-uh. When he, he like talked about how he like realized he was gay because he like wanted to fuck the bop it guy. And he like wanted <laughs> the bop it guy to be like, push it, pull it. Do you want to go get a soda at school? <laughs> That's great. That's super funny. Uh, I, I never had, I had a ball that I would sit on that I would bounce. Yeah, what were those those things? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're featured in, uh, uh, Don't Tell (laughs) Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Yeah, that's a good movie. Uh, Christina Applegate (laughs) and the guy that, that, yeah. The dishes are done. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, when she's dating the guy from the Weenie Hut, oh yeah, they yeah, go out Ooh, on, uh, that guy's so That's funny. right before yeah. the drag queens steal the car. Yeah. But anyways, they're hopping around on that. Oh man. Anyways, uh, that was yeah. Great. Uh, okay, so uh, I feel like we've really had a good run of what's oh. happening on this. Oh, we have to. We got to talk about uh, Lady Lovely Locks. Oh yeah, Lady Lovely Locks. Uh, Get it. We talked about Lady Lovely Locks, and uh, neither of us know what the yeah. fuck. Oh really? Well, yeah. The, yeah. What? Where? I've never seen it. Was I watched a couple a, episodes. Did on, you love it? They have the whole series on YouTube. They're badass. Yeah, they, they're they're really funny. They're out there. Yeah, I, gotta, I should watch them. I, it's been so long, and I also really liked um, what was the one Gem Gem Oh yeah, Ram. oh yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, I had a I had a guitar when I was a kid, like a plastic guitar. It wouldn't tune. It was like a toy guitar. But it was from Jim. It was white, and, and it had the yeah. yeah and I would jam on it all the time. Like I'd pretend to play on it, and then I got in trouble because it was a girl's toy. And I was like, "It's a fucking That's guitar." Yeah. Know, there's a lot of that in my child. A lot of weird yeah. boy girl shit. I get in trouble playing with Barbies. Mm-hmm. You know. So I told them I was horny, and then they're like, "Ah, right, no, that's cool. That's good." You know. <laughs> like, I used to try to get some. I get it. Lady yeah, yeah. Locks. So, Lady Lovely Locks. She, like her boyfriend wants her dog. Yeah, yeah. the prince. They got that her. was the best. They're ta- they're doing the pre cartoon show exposition yeah. of everything, and it's like, and the prince took on a horrible curse, and it shows him transforming. I'm like, what's he turn into like a toad yeah. or something? And no, he turns into a, a dog pup. with great hair. Yeah, yeah. Everybody <laughs> has great hair. Yeah. Everybody in that lady. What's yeah. the dark haired lady? The bad lady. Raven. Something yeah, Raven. Or other. Because that just seems like one of those things. Like as a kid, if you were like a dark haired girl, you'd be like, Wait. "Well, I'm the fucking bad guy." Same did you watch? Shira. Shira. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, did yeah, you watch right. the cartoon then, or yeah, did you I just have the a toy line? And then I had the toys, but I didn't. Yeah. I feel like the toys. I don't know for sure because I feel like I definitely. Heard of that before? Did the toys have a theme song for the commercial that was like "Lady Lovely Locks" or something like that? Because <laughs> I, I feel if like they I, did. It would be I feel like I know like that, that, but we we watched the I show. Mean, we could the write show, one. I didn't. The theme song to the show wasn't. You know, Great. it's not. No, what it was all it was. exposition. It's yeah. Like, yeah. So the thing that I remember about the toys is that, like, because like Lady Lovely Locks has like the whole forest to help her. She's got all these. Yeah. Like, yeah. She's kind of like Cinderella. and that's the shit that braids in their hair. Yeah, right? and so these like little creatures live in their hair. So then with the uh, with the dolls, like you could there was like fucking zillions of these, and like you know, like I can picture like my dad being like, "What? God damn yeah. it!" Like picking it out from under his foot. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Um, but then like I saved a bunch, and then in middle school, it was like. Oh, like you're coming to school with your old lady lovely locks. Oh, that's hair. pretty rad. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, they, they had a nice, cool retro comeback in middle school where Maybe you could buy the thing. Just did it. That's, pretty that's cool. still a good oh, look. Right. Uh, they're just like little weaves for kids. Uh, yeah, like yeah, little exactly. neon clip in weaves. Exactly. We, uh, uh, my dad used to use my Leonardo swords. And fucking clean his ears with them. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> gross. It was so gross, so right? He, and he gave them back to you? No, and they'd, just be, they'd, they'd be sitting on like the coffee right? table, and then I'd go to play with them later, and I'd be like, ooh. Well, no, like, no. And plus, the color of those Ninja Turtles weapons the brown. is already like. Yeah, not a. Not ear, a ear wax color. Yeah, it was gross as know? hell. Uh, I love that, though, that you would wear them later on. That's a, like a good idea. Because uh, we had kind of like a weird reassert- resurgence of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In middle school, where mm-hmm. everybody was like, it was kind of cool to get back into that shit. Yeah. Really? And uh, yeah, yeah. And so, and I, because I had a t shirt that was a t shirt that was like, uh, probably a t-shirt for like a fat kid in like 1989 <laughs> that I got at a Goodwill that fit me in middle school. And so I would wear it to middle school. And it, and this was before like retro shirts were kind of really a thing. It's so but weird. everybody we, was like, like, oh, that's a turtle See, shirt. Yeah, I remember. Cool. We grasped irony in middle school. <laughs> yeah. Our hot retro, our hot re- retro revival was Star Wars. 
in, mm. in middle school. Oh yeah, because that's when they like, re-released. The that's when they started to yeah. like the um, uh, Shadows of the Empire. Yeah, and they just put the trilogy out on VHS, and they were going to do the re-release. But Shadows of the Empire oh, was yeah. really like the because the Nintendo sixty. And I, if you were a fan, because like my brother was older, and so I always knew about Star Wars, but a lot of kids didn't learn about Star Wars till later, uh, till like when they started re-releasing the movies and stuff, and so. When Shadows of the Empire started, I could tell everybody, like, oh, this starts right when in Empire Strikes Back. And then they'd be like, what's that? And then we'd watch Empire. And so it was kind of like, I kind of felt like I was the one who could, like, give everybody the in of what Star yeah. Wars was. And my friend Ryan Carnahan, who uh, is great, and he wasn't friends with all of our friends when we were younger. But one day in sixth grade, we had to run around, like, the whole school got in trouble for something. And, like, or somebody did something, and so the instead of recess, you had to run around the playground the whole time. And so him and I just ran next to each other, and we talked about Star Wars, because he loves Star Wars. And I remember so nicely, like, after we're walking back into school, and he just turns to me and, like, shakes my hand, and he's like, thank you for talking about Star Wars with me at recess. Oh. And, and we, went on to, we went on to have a real up-and-down friendship over the next several years, but now we're buddies, and it's great. Uh, it's not Star Wars, but it's pretty close. You know what was great back in the day? Huh. Battle of the Network Stars. I never, I don't know, that, I only know there's a reference. Oh, it'd be like when all the kids... That were uh, oh, like growing actors and... from NBC would battle against kids from ABC. Like rap battle? No, like yeah. track Rose and battle. field and tug of war oh, cool. and like uh, just it was gymnastics. in cross network though. Yeah, it was. I can't believe that. Yeah, it ABC was. ABC wouldn't let NBC do no, that. No, they it didn't. Would all be dude. the same network. No, it wasn't. That's nuts. That <laughs> yeah. is like so much. Look it up, dude. It's like Joey Lawrence in an yeah. arm wrestle with like uh, and, uh, yeah. I... Kirk Cameron and shit. That's I crazy. Covered in Bop. Yeah. Remember that? I loved. Bop. I, loved uh, I didn't. I know. See, I never watched those. The uh, Battle of the Network Stars, but I did watch Rock and Jock a lot. The oh Rock yeah. Rock and TV Rock and Jock. You know what that is. Mm -mm. It was, was a similar great. idea. It was like celebrities, but they would play like basketball games and softball. They're on. And, they're on YouTube. Yeah. And they are great. Everything that's John, it'd be like mid, JTT everything and... that's nineties MTV is just a great retro watch. Yeah. Like they have singled out. That's a great oh, rewatch. Yeah. That's great. Especially seeing all the fashion and stuff yeah, yeah, that yeah. all the common people are wearing. Yeah, yeah. But Rock and people. Jock is just, uh, it's like, it, but uh, David Faustino yeah. versus like Frank Thomas yeah, yeah, yeah. playing softball. Or, and like They're there's like, one where Shaq picks JTT yeah. up and lets him dunk. It's oh crazy. God. And then like there was this thing. Well, that's thing. basketball. That's, that's, that's Rock and Jock basketball. Yeah. That's it sounds like Make a Wish, but for celebrity kids. Yeah. yeah. And they had, an extra bas they had an extra basketball hoop that was up higher that if you hit it, it was 20 25 points. 20, 25 points. Yeah. And uh, I referenced that on stage not too long ago. I made a joke about how, because I got really good at shooting hoops higher than I was supposed to, and I was like, the only thing that's going to do anything is if they bring Rock and Jack back, and nobody got it, and I was like, all right, well, sometimes... Yeah. Rock and Jack's a deep cut, man. It's yeah. a deep cut. Uh, you know, some regional. people are already zoning out listening to Yeah, them, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, I do love the idea of the... I can't get over that fact of you putting the lady locks in your hair and doing it again later, and I love the idea of it. What if it started, like, a trend? Yeah. Like, was there... Sure. Did you should go you find weird... some on Amazon right now. Did you have any weird things that you guys did in your middle school that... Nobody else Nobody did? else did, but, like, you... Like, we had, that, we had the Sanrio thing. That was middle school. Okay, yeah. that must be... But I bet that maybe other... I don't know, because I never heard of that, but... Oh, we no, would... we had a pretty serious four-square league. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and did you have, like, a tournament everybody... No, yeah. we just had two teams. It was, like, I was on the good team. I and, love that. And then the other one, and everybody... Every kid had to pick out their own special move. Yeah. That, like, they named after something. Ooh. So, like, one kid had one that was called the bull, or he'd, like... Put, <laughs> oh, my God, I love yeah, it. That's yeah. cool. And then, like, uh, yeah, cherry bombs were outlawed, of oh, course. Oh, of course, yeah. You, you can't know. cherry bomb. And then what about I, Tarzan's? I think mine was, like, I'd run up and oversell, like, yeah. I'm getting ready to do it. <laughs> and then I'd just, like, give it just a little tap nice. over the line. So the kid's getting ready to play the big... The big hard move, and then I just yeah, just get them. Yeah, uh, we did a thing in middle school that caught on that I think was only our school. Where do you guys know what toggles are? Like when I say toggle, do you guys know? What yeah, that yeah, means? it's a no. switch. The the, open no, and it's circuits. Not, not that, but uh, it's like you know some like starter jackets had a thing on there like the, oh, the string. Like, yeah, and you would like squeeze it. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and we you got chew on them. Yeah, you could chew on them. Yeah. But the, the plastic ones, those got super popular. So everybody in our school would just go to stores and you'd steal them off coats. Like you'd go oh and you'd like God. steal them off like coats at the stores. That's easy steal. But then what we would do is you would take those and you would tie your shoes with them. And you would like, instead of tying your shoes, you, you would just, just, you would just pull, the, you know, pull them tight. Genius. And then use the toggle to hold it in place. 
and then your everybody would walk down the yeah, hall and their, LA their laces would be all like, <laughs> their laces would be all like ding, ding, ding. So like dumb. everybody did that and then sometimes you would, if you were wearing like if you had a coat you'd have like six toggles all different colors on them uh and it was a big deal to like go steal those but then other kids it got out that the kids were stealing the logos off starter coats and we weren't doing that. And they're like, if you bought a coat and it didn't have those toggles, nobody would care. Right. But, but if, if you, you bought a coat and the starter logo was gone, you'd be noticed. So we stopped doing it because we're like, well, we don't want people to think. We don't want to get caught. Because yeah. if yeah. they caught you still the they might get mad. But if they caught you, the they thought you were still this down. thing. Yeah. It was crazy. But that was huge in our school. And you would see everybody would walk That's up down really the halls funny. and all their shoestrings would just be all over the floor. Did you have a starter jacket? I did. I had a 1996 Olympic starter jacket. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> there was a lot of white on it. I it feel was like all white. It was like white yeah. and then the big like, Olympic. That's that, was the, uh, that, what was, was yours? that was the Carrie Shrug. Oh, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was yours? Your oh, I had coat. a Raider jacket. Okay. A couple Raiders. I had a Bull starter coat. Nice. But I was never a I also big had Bulls fan. I also had a Raiders triple fat goose coat. Oh, oh. Which is like a big, long trench coat type. Oh, weird. Insulated. Like, like don't like, you have to, like, murder your kids in your school to wear one of those? No, it's not really a trench coat, I guess. Okay. It's like, uh... A duster? Not a duster. It's just a long coat. Sure. Uh, long, sure. insulated coat. At some point, my parents decide... Like, my, my... I don't know. What I'm guessing is that somebody had a garage sale, and just my mom got a deal on a bunch of uh, bull stuff. Because all of a sudden, one year for Christmas, I got uh, a bull's coat, bull's hat, and a Jordan jersey. But it was like ninety five and like I don't know. It was it was oh, ninety five when it was they had their best season. He had yeah, yeah when they were seventy and twelve. It wasn't like everybody was, talks about the ninety five. But it wasn't like Chicago I was Bulls. running around, around being like I love the Bulls. Like and and the I didn't worm? care at all. But yeah, but maybe she was just like she yeah. probably was just like maybe yeah. I think she yeah, I don't know. And then later I got it. I traded my Bulls coat to my buddy Jonathan Marshall for a uh, um or maybe I didn't trade him a Bulls coat. I traded him something. But I ended up getting a Kansas City Chiefs coat that wasn't a Ugh. it wasn't go fuck yourself. It wasn't a starter coat, but it would look just like one. It was like it was a brand called like Asics or something. Me and my, but it was a good coat. Yeah, me and really my friend Kevin Beamer, uh, big big fan of the show. A brilliant yeah. effort. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Shout out Kevin. We used to make believe if we accidentally touched Kansas City Chiefs merchandise, uh, we had a disease called Chiefitis. Is that real? Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. We just joke bad. around being dumb kids, you know. And the only way it was like for the Raiders to beat the Chiefs. I met my, I, so we'd play like Tech Mobile. I like, met Joe Montana at the opening of a Super Target, and I told him thank you for joining the Chiefs. I said thank you, and then I walked away. And they, everybody else got an autograph, and I didn't. And I went back over to my brother-in-law at the time, or I don't know, he was my sister's boyfriend. And he's like, "Did you get an autograph?" And I was like, "No." And he's like, "What?" I was like, "I told him thank you." Aww. <laughs> I should have probably gotten an autograph in retrospect. Uh, okay, hey, so this has been great so far. What about Absolutely. what about a game? Do you oh, have any fun games? Yeah, yeah. Happen? I got a I got a game. I uh, I've been curating and put together. Yeah, Reed together likes here. to likes to uh, take his time and really put work into this. I don't Is know. Is this if, a yeah, real yeah. game? It might be. I don't remember. No, but. no. It's it's fine. It's it's a simple game. It's a game I like to call uh, Porn Star. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, comic Perfect. book character <laughs> alias. Oh, cool. Say it yeah. again. Porn star or comic book character alias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Porn, uh, porn I would say superhero book. alias, but some of these are also uh, bad guys. Bad so I, you know, I don't want to box this in. They're all so, bad guys. Yeah. so he'll, he, I believe he's going to give you. Yeah, I'm going to name come. off yeah. ten, right. and then you just guess if it's mm -hmm. a uh, yeah. like. And I'll, uh, I'll be recording. Okay, so here we go. First off, number one, we have Flash Dale. Is this uh, oh my God. an alias or a... Uh, or a porn fella. Yeah. God, um, I'm going to go porn. Uh, no, Flash Dale... Oh, you're telling her right away? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I don't need to write shit down. Sorry. No, that's it's fine. A, oh, okay. Yeah, we have Flash fun. Dale is the uh, alias for Captain Conquest. Ooh. Captain Conquest. He, there was a video game of Captain Conquest. What is Conquest. What it? I don't know. What is alias? That's what his real, his real name. Yeah, like Peter Parker, okay. the so Spider Man, the I picked or Clark Flash, Kent. I picked porn was because because <laughs> there is the Flash, and I'm like, no one would then make another Flash yeah. person. Okay, all right. But that's, right. Um, um, at least I had a reason. Yeah. Okay, to get it on. Okay. Uh, if you flash your Dale, I 100 percent think you're showing. Dale is a great name for a wiener. Right. Well, yeah. I like Chippendale yeah. too. So sure. Anyway, mm -hmm. Gribble. Question two. All right. Gribble, Question. Is that one? Oh. Dale Gribble from King of the oh. Hill. Gribble right. would be a funny. Here we go. Yeah. Victor Stone. Ooh. That is porn. Uh, no. God damn it! Hey. I hate this Ooh, game. Who's so confident? <laughs> That's such a whole that, that is the alias of Cyborg. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Next one. Jax Slayer. Ooh, Jax Slayer. That's that's like a comic thing, right? That's porn. Oh, God damn. Oh, and man. even better, 
Uh, his last name spelled S L A Y H E R. Oh, whoa, Slayer Her. Instead of just like the cool band. Got it. Okay, here we go. Sean Lawless. Ooh, Sean Lawless. Comics? Ooh. Porn. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I, I seriously? You're so bad at this. Am I the worst person to ever play? Well, this is the first time we've no, played the game. No, this is the first yes. time I've played the game. It's a great game. You're also the best person to ever played this game. I tested it out on the roommates, but they don't count. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Cyrus Gold. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Comics. There you go. Oh. Cyrus Gold is the uh, alias for Solomon uh, Grundy. Oh, would, Solomon Grundy. I would really yeah. like to make it known that now, okay, so Patrick just has a piece of paper that says wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong. <laughs> That's great. And, and for fun, my pin is from the Pleasure Chest, which is a porn place. So No, it's a comic place. Okay. So what? I just oh, I got you. Okay. I was, so, I was like, Here we go. Go. it's not? Number six. Okay, turning it all around. Here we, we go. We got... Uh, we got Slade Wilson. Slade? Slade Wilson. Slade. S-L-A-D-E Wilson. That's correct. Yeah. That is, uh, We're coming back. The well-known assassin Deathstroke. Yeah. Who, uh, that sounds like a porn name. <laughs> Deathstroke. Right? Yeah. Sort of. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. What Here is we porn? go. Sex? Is what that is porn? What it is? <laughs> I never had it. Okay. <laughs> Tex Thompson. Text that Thompson. is porn. No. Oh, <laughs> hey, Tex Thompson is the alias for America Mando. <sighs> Damn, you really? I thought you turned it all around, but now you're slipping. Yeah, again. yeah. Come on now. Here we go. We're gonna get better. Rob Diesel. Rob Diesel. That's gotta be porn. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Diesel's a porn star. Whoa, yes. we're back. Okay. Here we go. Number eight, right? Number eight. Xander Corvus. Xander That's a terrible Corvus. name. Uh, <laughs> comics? Porn. Uh, Xander Corvus is a porn star. Okay, here we go. What would your guys' after this we gotta do porn names? Sure. Okay. You know, yeah. Johnny Sins. Johnny Sins. That's comics. <laughs> Johnny Sins is a porn star. Oh, darn. Yeah. Sounds like he'd be a bad a guy, sin. too. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. I just thought, like, oh, that's a short name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And here we go. Our 10th. <laughs> the, the great thing about this is the statistical anomaly for you to get the score this bad. Yeah. When it's only 50 50. Yeah. You know? It's just the fact that you're able nah, to. Nah, you're do doing this great. Thing. You're okay. the best person to ever played. Here we the game go. The show. Yeah, yeah. You're setting the high score oh yeah. on the show right you're the, now. You're the, uh, you're the record holder. Yeah, you're, you're, Here we go. Adam Mann. Adam Mann. How's Mann spelled? M A double N. And Adam is A D A M. Adam Mann? Uh huh. Porn. <laughs> I'm just going to write Adam Mann is a superhero yep. alias for the Atomic Man. Yeah. <laughs> um. You got three out of ten. what is it? Three ten. out of ten. So that's what the world record. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Dang, you were not good at that. No. I really didn't know what to expect. But um, fun thing behind the scenes, you know, sometimes we like to go behind the curtain. The other day, he's in, he's researching this, so he's, he's on a website called Brazers.com. Yeah. And it's a porno site, and he shows me he sends me a screenshot of a fella on that site who's a porn star. I thought his name. Sam Bourne. Yeah. Right? Who's yeah. a friend of the show. Fan of the show. Been on the show. Real, yeah. real in effort. Uh, Spelled the exact same way, too. But I'm at work. Oh, really? I'm yeah. camping at my job. And so I just get a Facebook message and I click on the image and the image pops up big on the screen and it's just this Brazers website. And then my boss guy Which is fine. By. Everybody's wearing shirts. Yes, except for the All girl the in the lower corner. Pop like up ad. Big old boobs pop popping up out. Pop up ad, lady. And some, the boss and guy walks by and I'm just out. like, these. Uh, and then I was just like, and I didn't read, I didn't know why he sent me this. I was just like, what are you doing? Why are you sending me a porno <laughs> screenshot in the middle of the day? I think it's fun. I, uh, I watch a lot of cartoons on yeah. uh, Kiss Cartoon. No shit, bud. Yeah, I'm just saying, one of my main websites I use is kisscartoon.com, and it's not the most legit site. Yeah, a lot but of it's, shady shit goes down on But it's website. really funny that uh, there's pop-up ads around it, like on the peripheral of what you're watching, and they're all really racy, and it's like... You're scrolling through cartoons like yeah, I just want to watch cartoons. Steven Universe or the Ninja Turtles, 
and like the ads that are. It's so aggressive the ads they show you sometimes because like I like there's a type of porn I like to look at when I'm looking at it, but then sometimes the ads that are on the sides are not at all the type of shit I'm into, and you're just like, ah, I guess I guess I yeah. gotta go. So it's like a really me. weird that. The advertiser that's pushing, like, yeah. the cartoon website that I'm on all the time. So it's like... But, you know, you gotta fucking pay those guys. Flash Dale needs to make a living, you know? <laughs> gotta get him some money. Well, uh, Flash Dale's a superhero, and he's making good money defending What's him. your... What would be your porn name? Oh, oh uh, there's a thing. What, is there a thing? What, what are the thing we're using? Because there's, there's yeah, various. A bunch of them. What are you, what's the one what's you know? The, I forgot. I've now. always heard Mother's Maiden Name and... Uh, uh, or no, it was Dog... Dog. It's your dog, dog, dog in the street you grew street. up on. Your fur, your so favorite. mine would be Bo Sheridan. Bo Sheridan's a good name. My, <laughs> when I was a kid, I grew up on a country road called Hoffman Avenue. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It was a whole country road. And our my dog's name was Dustin, so my porn name was Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman. That's not real. That's not real, but that's a joke oh, I did. Right? When I for my first year of comedy, I used to do that as a bit. Uh, but no, mine would be mine is actually pretty good. Um, I grew up on Montague Road. That's for real. That's good. Uh, yeah. Shakespearean. And, and, yeah. Dog's name and was my dog, No, my dog's name was Pokey, so my porn name would be Pokey, <laughs> Pokey Montague. Pokey Montague was yeah. the best. Sounds real good, huh? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would yours be? Uh, Coco West 86th Place. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. West 86th Place sounds like you killed somebody and then fucked. Like 86ing, you know? That's like, get him out of here. Uh, I was, oh, yeah. That's, uh... I think I'd probably just keep it to Coco West. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. it's weird that Ron Jeremy grew cross. up on Jeremy Street, you know? Had a dog named Ron. All right. <laughs> uh, Ooh, oh, boy. We, go, we Sometimes we don't end up. We need to just uh, chill that. We, don't. we had some good get-out momentum. <laughs> Three out of ten on that one. It was really going well. Um, okay, so it's been a pretty good episode. Yeah, right? yeah. Where can people find... Yeah, uh, I mean, what do you got happening? I remember this yeah, could yeah. go out at any time, so, you know, what do you okay. got? Okay. Well, I got a whole lot of nothing. Sure. Oh, I'm talking about the app. What are you looking uh, at? <laughs> I was looking at your phone. Um, Matt, you can find me on at Emily M C Winter, Emily McWinter, on Twitter and Instagram. And um, actually, I mean, I got like a bunch of shows coming up. But cool. oh, you got a website thing, where maybe it has all your shit. Yeah, it's EmilyWinterComedy.com. There One you thing go. that Ooh. I gotta make real good because I gotta tape it for um, so that I can get, try to sell it. Um, okay. But I, in June, I'm gonna do this again. I did Back Fatlerette. So my Back Fat is my show, yep. and it's Last Comic Standing meets The Bachelorette, mm-hmm. and it that was a fucking great show. And I have to make it really big and good so that we can. When you know when that's gonna be in June? June twenty second. June twenty second. So. You know, support. all you listeners, if this so comes out in time, deal. go yeah. see it. If yeah. maybe this gets trapped in November, good that, luck. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. That's far out in advance, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. great. I don't know. I'm. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, uh, flashdale.com. Uh, <laughs> Reem, where can people find you on the internet? Oh, all uh, Reemcore. Just Reem type Core. that into a thing. And then my stuff will pop up. R E A M K O R E. Yeah, gamer tags and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make videos that are always pretty funny. Uh, follow me at Patrick Hasty at P A T R I C K H A S T I E on Instagram and Twitter and all that shit. Uh, PatrickHasty.com for all shows and whatnot. Um, of course, follow the show. You guys already are on board yeah, yeah. of that. Nostalgic Front on Twitter, The Nostalgic Front on Instagram. Uh, everything else, check out everything else on the. What's the name of this network that we just decided we're part of? Brain. Something machine. brain machine comedy. Mm-hmm. Figure that out. Maybe that's the brain is the greatest machine unless, in the universe. Unless we have decided that maybe we're not a part of that label, and then yeah. we'll figure it out. But Who knows? Google it. It's good people. Uh, or we release this two years later, and we're on no. really bad terms. Yeah, sure. And the, you know, we released this no, in we 2019, and the robots are taking over. And uh, oh, the robots! They're so much more lenient than the that. fascists. Sounds good. We will see you all next week. Remember to leave positive Instagram, nope, iTunes shit. Yeah, just be positive. Yeah, in every be cool. aspect of your life. Live forever, never die. See ya. Bye.